I grew up in La Follette, Tennessee. It's just a small town. It's like 30 or 45 minutes from Knoxville. And uh, I started at the Cracker Barrel on 76th of August. When I first started, my knees were shaking. I was so scared. I was so, because this is really my, it was my first job. I worked for my mom and dad, that's different. What makes Cracker Barrel so unique? You know, you can sit here all day long and say, well, we've got the decor, you know, but it's, it's the people. You know, I start thinking back, you know, 40 years, 40 years ago, how old I was, you know, what I was doing 40 years ago. And then we always go back and we're like, we're thinking, you know, the mission of pleasing people. And you're sitting there thinking, out of 40 years, you know, how many people, you know, when it goes to the mission of pleasing people, how many people, you know, has she pleased? And that's actually what's happened after 40 years. There's multi-generations that she's waited on. My mother started in November of 76. We worked night shift for about 27 years with the Cracker Barrel. It was a lot of fun. It wasn't just like work. I enjoyed the people. I enjoyed interesting people that we would get. I mean, some of them's got some real, in, you know, things that they've done and trips they've made and things like that. I really enjoyed that. I, I guess I'm more of a people person. Whether she knows the guests, like they're her regulars, or somebody she just met for the first time that just drove off the interstate and they've never been here before. She talks to them like she already has them in her home. She goes that extra, extra step, and you know, when it goes there again, back into pleasing people, you know, she does. That's her main thing, is making sure she takes her each and every one of them, and they love her. Cracker Barrel's in her heart. It's in her blood. You know, I think that she lives and breathes Cracker Barrel. Like I said, I enjoyed my customers. I really enjoyed my customers. Yeah.